Welcome to Brilliant Maths. Today we are continuing our lessons on geometry, angle relationship in triangles. But before we go there, let's look at the answers to the last exercise. Question 1. The value of x is 64. 64 degrees because it corresponds with the angle that measures 64 degrees. The value of y is 116 degrees because it's on the straight line with angle x. And the sum of the two angles gives us 180 degrees. Question 2. X is equal to 70. The reason is co-interior angles on parallel lines. Because 70 plus 110 will give us 180 degrees. And then Y is equal to 55 degrees plus 70 degrees, which gives us 125 degrees. Did you get that right? Well done. Question 3. Find the value of each angle. The value of X is also 90 degrees. We can see that from the diagram. The value of Y is 54 degrees. The reason is alternate angles. And the value of Z is 126 degrees. I'm very sure you got them all right. Congratulations. Today we are going on to the angle relationship in triangles. A triangle has three interior angles, and the sum of these three angles equals 180 degrees. As you can see, we have a triangle. The angles are angle X, Y, and Z. So we are saying that X plus Y plus Z is equal to 180 degrees. Then the next point we want to see is the exterior angle of any triangle. What do we mean by an exterior angle? Assuming we have an angle here, that's an exterior angle of this triangle. The value of this exterior angle is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles. So let's call this angle angle Q. This exterior angle equals the sum of x and y. We'll be using this subsequently. Therefore, q, the value of angle q is equal to x, the value of angle x, angle x plus angle y. Let's look at the first example. Example 1. Find the value of x. We have a triangle. The first angle is 70 degrees. The second is 80 degrees. And the third one is unknown. We want to try to find the value of x. We know that the sum of the angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So, 70 degrees plus 80 degrees plus x will give us 180 degrees. And the reason is sum of the angles of a triangle. x then is equal to 180 degrees. Take away the sum of 70 and 80. And 70 plus 80 is equal to 150. So the value of x is simply 30 degrees. So easy. Example two, find the value of y and z. We have a triangle. The interior angles are 60 degrees, 75 degrees, and z. And then we have an exterior angle which measures y. We don't know it. We want to find it. There are two ways we can decide to do this. We can choose to find z first by Adding 60 and 75 degrees and subtracting the sum from 180 degrees. Or we can choose to find y first by finding the sum of the opposite interior angles, which is equal to the exterior angle. And I think we should use that method. So y is equal to 60 degrees plus 75 degrees. 
The reason is exterior angle equals sum of opposite interior angles. So the value of y is equal to 60 plus 75 degrees. 60 plus 75 is 135 degrees. So having found y, we can easily find z. Because y and z are angles on a straight line. Therefore, y plus z is equal to 180 degrees. Angles on a straight line, that's the reason. Angles on a straight line. That means that z is equal to 180 degrees minus 135 degrees. Z is equal to 10 take away 5 is 5. We have 7 left here now. 7 take away 3 is 4. So angle Z is equal to 45 degrees. Example 3. Use the exterior angle relationship to find the values of X and Y. Specifically, we've been asked to use the exterior angle relationship. So, we should find X first. What's the value of angle X? Let's look out for the exterior angle. The exterior angle is 130 degrees. So, it's equal to the sum of the two interior opposite angles to it. So, X plus 20 degrees is equal to 130 degrees. So, X plus 20 degrees is equal to 130 degrees. And the reason is exterior angle equals sum of opposite interior angles. So that's fine. If x plus 20 is equal to 130 degrees, therefore x is equal to 130 degrees minus 20 degrees. So x is equal to 110 degrees. Easy, right? Let's now find the value of y. Two or more methods. Y is on a straight line with 130. So we can simply subtract 130 degrees from 180 to get the value of y. Also, we could decide to use sum of angles of a triangle where you have 20 plus x plus y adding up to 180 degrees. So choose whichever method you are comfortable with. So y is equal to 180 degrees minus 130 degrees which is equal to 50 degrees. Let's check to see if our answer is correct using the sum of the angles of a triangle. That means that x plus y plus 20 degrees should give us 180 degrees. We are checking. Our x is equal to 110. Our y is equal to 50 degrees. and 20 degrees is the third angle. 110 plus, 100 and 110 plus 50 is 160. 160 plus 20 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So our answer is correct. 
The value of x is 110 degrees, and the value of y is 50 degrees. Take your time to work out these exercises. Find the value of the marked angles. Number one, we're finding the value of angle x. Number two, we're also finding the value of angle x. But check it out, angle x is an exterior angle. Number three, you will be needing your skills in solving equations here because you have x and 2x and 3x. The sum of those three angles, what should it give you? Find it and solve for x. Question four, we also have an exterior angle. Find the value of x. Finally, question five, Find the value of x and y. These are very easy. Just take your time, draw them out, and solve them. Keep watching this channel, subscribe to it, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. My name is Ngozi Orevogine. Follow me on brilliantmaths.com. And always remember, maths is fun, maths is easy, and you can do it. See you soon.